I don't care how many years you've claimed to be in this. That don't mount to a blind flip. My 30 some odd you I don't even have the years. 31. 31? Don't matter. My time of being in this at this point, Brother Ernest, does not matter. It doesn't matter how long you've been in this. It doesn't matter how long you've been preaching. It doesn't matter how long you've been saved. It doesn't matter how long you've been filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. What matters is what you are tonight. What you are right now. Hallelujah. My days of the past is over. My yesterdays is gone. There is no more of what I was. It's only what I am. And what I am is a pride member. I'm a part of a pride. I'm a part of that screaming eagle. Hallelujah. That's out of this fed up with a part guard of religiosity. It's time. Out of that place. Get out of that place before you die like the chickens that are down in there. Get out of that barnyard before you die there. Get out and fly to the cleft of the rock. Somebody shout, yes. 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 You have only begun to see me preach. You have, whatever you may have saw me. What I used to be of the preacher, I used you haven't even begun to see what I'm fixing to go into. All my yesterdays are gone. Doesn't matter. I don't have time for gossip. I'm telling you, I've threatened this for, for quite some time and I'm fixing to do it. The next time somebody comes up to me and starts saying, you know how this person's doing or how that, I'm going to say, get behind me, Satan. All right. Woo! Got I, we ain't got time for that conversation. That's it. That's me and Brother Ernest was talking uh, not long ago. If we truly believe Come on, man. Jesus is coming back, Come on, bro. how many will lift your hand and say, I know he's coming back soon. All right. All yeah. right. If we truly believe that he's coming back, our lives is going to show it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't get quiet on me now. Well, I'm tired. So what? Well, I feel sick in body. I know the master physician. I'm troubled in my mind. I know the greatest psychiatrist that you've ever wanted to meet in your entire life. My family is driving me crazy. Put them on the altar and let God drive them crazy. Everybody, if you stand for the truth, people you never thought would turn on you is going to turn on you. You think this is just this little bit of what the church has went through is something we haven't even begun to see what the devil is going to try to destroy this church with. We have not even begun to see the sheets in wolf's clothing that is going to come in and try to do a little number. But I just want to tell you something. This just ain't any little church on the mountain of Jamestown, Tennessee. This is a church, a bride church. This is a bride church. This is a church where the prophets came and the prophets have gone. Where the angels ain't sin and be sin. This is Bethel. This is the place where you need to be. And you're not going to get anything out there in the world. But the house of God is where you can root yourself and crown yourself. The place you can be anything you want to be. But be in the house of God. Worship God. Let everything else go be second and let God be first. Let every man be a liar. Let God be true. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, but you don't know what they said. I don't care what they said. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory! Thank you, Jesus. You hear that, devil? Thank you, Lord. That's right. Woo! 
me and Sister Diane has done more lives total on us in the time that we've had this church than Carter's got liver pills. Is he still alive? Oh, I'm here to preach to you tonight. I'm not here. I have not honestly, you know, stepping into the pastor position, my heart is on the flock. Yes, sir. The people. You are my concern. Yes, Lord. I don't care about a lot of the spirit. God bless them. I don't care about the Methodists and the Baptist Church. God bless them. Let them let that let that shepherd take care of theirs while I take care of mine. That's why I tell you the truth. I will not candy coat anything. God bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If it leaves me with nobody, then I'll preach to I got five cats that's wandering around over there. You think I'm joking you? One day I got a hold of butterscotch and I laid hands on her and started praying for her. Now you may think I'm crazy, but that old cat started shaking. I believe you, and that's why I love her so much. Because I many times I've, I've grabbed her and held her and prayed for her, and, and she's I can feel those all six cylinders just the purring. All right. So that's crazy. Oh no, 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 no. Be careful about God's creations. So I got me five over there right now. All I have to do is shake some kibble at them, and I've got a captive audience. If I chase them down, I'll baptize them in Jesus' name. There's no cat on their old dollar bill, we call him. That would be our sixth cat. <laughs> Trent said, you got to stop feeding them. They keep coming. But I, I, I'm just grateful tonight, Brother Eddie. I want to be devoted. To the master. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. I want to be devoted to him. So I can be devoted to you. There is not a one of you that your name has doesn't get called out every single day. Every day. I pray for Ernest Hancock. Every day. And not only do I pray for him, but I call his name. Every day I call out Diane Wright's name. Every day. Because I know that no matter what, I keep saying this, and I keep saying this with everything I've got, that I believe something great is going to come. The best is yet to come, and somehow my heart begins to pound, and I start to think, the best is yet to come. What could be any better than the Lord Jesus Christ coming back? Yes. Oh, Lord, yes. Thank that you, would be the best thing I've ever thought. Amen. Amen. That would be the very best. Yes, Lord. To see Jesus. Oh, my. Stand to your feet for the reading of the word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Revelation. Yes. Chapter 19. Listen, I want to tell you this. God gave me a revelation. Me and Brother Ernest were a revelation not long ago. Mm. It was a big one, wasn't it, Brother Ernest? <laughs> yes, right. Our season yes, sir. Yes, sir. of being here is almost over. Yeah, that's right, bro. come a day, Sister Diane, where I will not be at this church anymore. I'll be gone in a moment. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in the last trump, the dead in Christ shall rise, and we which are alive and remain, that's the group I think I'm going to be in. I, I, I'm just going to live forever. But we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn to Revelations chapter 19. The Bible says in verse 7. 
I'll read one verse and then I'll let you sit down. It says, let us be glad and rejoice. <laughs> See? Yeah. And give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb has come. Yes, and his wife had made herself ready. Let me show you something there. Not making herself, but has made it. It's not time to get ready. It's time to be ready. Be ready. That's right. Brother Ernest, would you pray? Most precious Father, mm, 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 mm. thank you. Thank you so much, Father, for the sweet and known spirit we feel tonight, God. Where you, God, right now, touch us, Holy Ghost, mind, body, soul, and spirit, God. And Father, truly, truly, God, we know. The best yet to come. And we know, Father, I do believe yeah. that it's going to be you. And I do I do believe, Father, it's going to be soon and very soon. Yes, Lord. Father God, help us to press in right now. Yeah. Between now and 2018, just a few more days off. Lord. Help us to press in, Lord, with all our strength, all our might. Oh, and Lord God, right now, Hallelujah. God, you show me some things, God, about pressing in. You said, Lord God, press in with all your strength and all your might. Yeah. You, press, press in, people, tonight, God. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to do some work. Listen to what the man of God says to bring forth tonight. Yeah. Oh, pray, God, Father, we honor you tonight, God, with this message. Yeah. And we just give you the praise tonight in the church. Yeah. Amen. 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 In 24 days, Amen. I will be boarding an aeroplane. Jet uh, for a 117 hour airplane ride to Tanzania, Africa. Oh, I thought to myself, well, this old thing about me getting old is just getting old. I'll never, I don't think I'm going to say that no more. But I do this because of this. I'm going to tell you. God showed me something, Sister Betty, about this trip to Africa. Oh. All right. He showed me, Sister Lisa, uh, this trip that they told us, Brother Ernest, that there's untelling, Sister Sarah, hundreds probably of people that I'll be able to baptize in the blessed name of Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Lord. I want you to listen to this and understand this. In that number, yeah. oh God! Thank you. Yes, sir. In that number could be my brother or sister. Oh, and that number, brother, Ernest, could be that last little bridegroom yeah. that will usher in the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah! Mm. And if it takes a seventeen-hour flight way to the hot spots of Africa to the deepest, most poorest part of Africa to find that one last pride member that I'm here to tell you I'm going to go with everything I've got because I know somebody, somebody pray the Lord with me. I know, hallelujah, I know, hallelujah, that God is going to deliver. God is going to bring out the demons out of your folk. God is going to move on them. American from the mountains of Jamestown, Tennessee, but because of the anointing, hallelujah, that's going to follow me, hallelujah, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I want to introduce to them little African people. Yes, Jesus, yes. glory to God. Jesus. Jesus. He is a great one. And they said there's no telling how many we're going to get to. We're going to be ministering in an all-women's prison. Some of the worst of the worst. They said the worst. Not just the bad ones, but they did they tell us it's going to be the worst of the worst. Murderers. Right in the smack dab in the middle of them. Why? Because house of prayer is not a church just in Jamestown. House of prayer 
is a worldwide ministry that you here tonight are a part of. It's not just any, not just some little old tiny country church. No, sir. It's an anointed, powerful move of God. There is something that happening here in the mountains of Jamestown, Tennessee. There is something that It may not look like it, but God is on the move. God is ready to move like you've never seen before. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Are you righteous tonight? Are you righteous Woo! tonight? Thank you, Jesus. And he yes. said unto me, mm. Right, yes. blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper oh, yes. of the Lamb. Oh, God. And he said unto me, There are the true sayings of God. Right there. Yes, yes, yes. Where? Within uh -huh. his bride. Yes. Well, that about makes you want to shout, right? Oh, oh, hallelujah! Yes. <laughs> well, that's good stuff. I ain't even getting to preach what I told you I was going to preach tomorrow. You, you just take tomorrow. Yes. Listen. <clears throat> Verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am my fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. God took me into a vision just before we went to the smokies. I found myself in a place I don't even know where I was at. Sometimes it's a little dangerous for me to drive a vehicle when God is dealing with me. Because then he has to take the wheel. And as I, I had to stop we hours in the morning he always talks to me in the wee hours of the morning. Thank you, Lord. I, I can relate, Brother Ernest. You talk about that all the time to me. Yeah. And I never really understood until it started happening to me that that in the morning time is when he really gets a hold of me. Yeah. Yeah. He, he tell me that one. It's good. Woo! And as I was there, I found myself caught away. And I was, I was just, I went, I was flying, I lost gravity. And as I was losing gravity, I began to see, I was right over the city of Jamestown, Tennessee. You don't have to believe this if you don't want to, it doesn't matter. But I looked down, Brother Ernest, and I looked and I saw the red roof of this church. And everything around it was on fire. Everything. The trailer, everything around. The, but there was an amber glow around the church. And as I began to watch this, I didn't understand what was happening. All of a sudden, coming out of the doors and going in each direction, one down the stairs and one down the ramp, was these beautiful ladies dressed in white. All right. All right. It was the bride. Yes, that's it. That's it. She began to go in each direction. 
It looked like one out of every nation. Out of every nation. Listen to what I'm telling you. And she began. And I could I lost count of how many there was. But all of a sudden. Now listen to what I'm telling you. God showed this to me. Just last this past week. She started to ascend. And when she started to ascend, the rest of the church just caught fire. And I said, God, I don't understand what are you showing me. And this is exactly what he said. He said, I will not come back till that last bride member comes forward. And when she does, then it will usher my coming. And everything around about will be as ash because the fire will consume it. And this is what he said. Praise me for being a part of that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Very words he said. Thank you, Jesus. You see, not everyone that cries, Lord, Lord, will right. enter in. That's right. I got one more thing I want to read to you, and it, it's found in chapter 20 of Revelation. <coughs> Whatever you've got to do, do it. Because time is winding up. Whatever you have to make right, whatever you have to put under the blood, do it. Because time is winding up. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to listen to me. But there's coming a day when I will read the last chapter and the last verse of this Bible. It will close for the last time and you will never hear me again. It's coming. Chapter 1. Verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven. Have the keys of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And listen, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. And shut him up. The reason why he's working like he's working. Because he knows there's a soon coming. A time where God will shut him completely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, brother. Amen. Not only shut him up in the bottom of his pit. But will also shut his mouth. Amen. Never again will he be able to tempt. Never again will he ever be able to lie. Never again will he ever be able to torment you. Because he is going to be shut up for the last time. He will never have another voice. He'll never have control over anything else. Because why? Because the bride is about ready to leave. And when she leaves, his time is over. I'm shutting up. And all of his demonic hordes. They told us. There are different ones that told us. That um, when while over in Africa. That there. He said the brother Ray. The brother was here. That had been there. He's been over there. He said I'll tell you something right now. He said. Those witch doctors. Knows what they're doing. He said, you better have what you say you have. Those demons, they are very, they are very powerful over there. 
And somebody, I told somebody that, and they asked me, said, well, are you afraid? I said, no. Amen. Greater is he that is in. Amen, bro. It's not me. It's not me that will defeat him. It's the God in me. It's not you that will defeat your demons. It's going to be the God in you. I was going to preach tomorrow uh, calling all faithful. Call it, that's what God wants. He wants a people that is faithful to Him. Amen, brother. That's very true. Very true. He wants a people yes, sir. that is devoted to Him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I promise you this. Devote your life to God and watch and see what He does. Oh, yeah. I ain't talking about next year. I'm talking about now for the remainder of this time. Watch what he does. That's right. You watch. Do not be concerned what the devil does to you. Do not give place to the devil. Now is not the time to get up and talk about what the devil has done to you. I want to know what God has done for you. Amen. Amen. That's right, bro. That's it. By telling what the devil has done. You give place to him. But when you stand and say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, never let the devil see you sweat. That's right. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is so good. That is why I do what I do in closing. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. That is why I Sing till I can't sing no more. That is why I preach. We have covered, I, I, I'm, I'm not even going to count how many miles that I've covered in this year alone in traveling and preaching. And I, I, I consulted the Lord on this, Sister Diana, because one of the biggest reasons why I didn't want to be pastor is because I know how busy I can be. I know the doors that God wants. And God spoke this to me about this, Gracie. He said, they want you to be in those doors. Thank you, Lord. How about you? Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. And said not to worry. He said he has it all under control. That's right. Something he spoke to me not long ago about Brother Ernest. He said... He, he said he must be respected because I placed him where he is. Uh -huh. Praise God. And I do. Yeah. I know sometimes it's probably most people do it with me too. Oh God, I wish he'd shut up. I'm not. I'm never going to shut up. But always understand this and I'm trying to finish up here. I will fail you on many levels. Brother Ernest will fail you. And it on many let me and him. That's the that's that's the two that God placed as pastor and associate pastor. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But we're here. Yes, sir. When many has reigned. We love you. you when many says they love you and runs. Thank you, Jesus. We're here. Because God called us here. <coughs> so I I I am not worried. I know and I feel with everything I've got that something is coming to this church. Something is coming. Sister Sarah, I don't know, and I can't call it out yet. But something is coming. And God is going to move like you never saw him move before. But he's not going to move just because of the pastor, but he's going to move through you. That's right. That's right. Once you devote everything you've got, 
There'll be an anointing even whenever time you ring that bell, Sister Gracie. There's an anointing on that bell ring. You know why? Because you're faithful for all these years to ring that bell seven times every service. And that makes God happy. Sister Betty, every time you get in there and clean that old splattered toilet for somebody pooed all over it. That makes God happy. Because you're faithful. And that is something that you can be proud of. Every time you tickle the ivories of that keyboard, Sister Lisa, it makes God happy. Every time you enter the doors of this church, Sister Sarah, that makes God happy. You know why? Because you're faithful. Every time you bang them drums, because you're faithful. You understand that? Your faith, being faithful, is what God wants. That's right, brother. Amen. 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 It should never be a drag to come to church. It should never be uh, out of order. It should never make you feel like, well, I got to go. No, you don't. Stay home. You got to go. You should want to go. And every time, it's something we're going to work on. Brother Ernest, you listen to me. Something we're going to work on as ministers of this church is we're come, we're bringing this church into a place, Sister Diane. Listen, that every single service must be a celebration, not a funeral. Amen. 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 That means if you have to press through, Brother Ernest, don't get upset. Don't you just shout the house down and you press in there. Just no matter what it takes, Sister Diane, we press in and we if nobody else gets what you're saying, God gets it. And that's the most important thing. This will be a celebration, not only in 2018, but for the rest of this year, we are going to celebrate. What are we going to celebrate? That we know our name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That we know that heaven will be our home. That we know Jesus is our Father. He is the God of God and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We will celebrate. We can't get this in any old church. That's why we're blessed. 